Hi everyone, welcome to Puddinwood Avenue. My name is Bindi. So today's going to be another short and sweet look what I bought local yarn store uh, video. And I'm, I'm stumbling for words that I've only just started. <laughs> oh, I've got a frog joining me. Great. We are sitting out on my back patio this afternoon because it is um, extremely hot. I live in far north Queensland in Australia and it is spring. It is the 29th, no, 30th of October. Um, and it's unseasonal, unseasonally hot here at the moment. So um, it is 35 degrees Celsius in my shed. I live in a shed. I just gotta wind this up because it's pulling on my microphone. So I'm trying to find cool places to film my videos. So um, we're out in the back patio today. Plants are my other passion. Um, and uh, so I thought it'd be nice to come and sit out here. So today we're going to have a look at um, a couple of things that I bought from a local yarn store in Brisbane when I went to visit my daughter. We went to um, Beanley, this place is, is, and when we were Googling for yarn stores in Brisbane, the name of this one grabbed my attention straight away and we had to go. So the name of this stop, shop is Mean Mother's Creation, Creations with an S. Um, <clears throat> so how can you not go to somewhere called Mean Mother's Creations? So um, that's the first place we went and it was truly amazing. We spent a lot of time in there. Sorry, Caleb. <laughs> um, we spent a lot of time in there because they had lots and lots of yarn that I'd only ever seen reviews done by people in America. So um, for example, um, Jennifer from Cinnamon Stitches is affiliated with Premier Yarns. And so I've seen lots of review, reviews that she's done on um, all the different types of Premier Yarn. And I actually got to see them, hold them, feel them, squish them. And um, uh, and also um, a lot of Lion Brand stuff, a lot of Red Heart stuff that we I don't see up here. Um, and lots and lots of Hanks of yarn, which is kind of exciting for me because Hanks of yarn is very hard to come across up here. Chickens are out. Rooster's decided he's gonna make a noise and probably crow in a minute. <coughs> He's going to make all the chickens go, <laughs> which means that Maynard, my big red-nosed bull Arab, is going to go. So I apologise for the noise. Um, <laughs> right on, right on cue. Hold that thought. I'll be back in a second. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I've stopped a dog from howling, but I can't catch the chicken. Um, all right, so. When we went, when I went down there, um, there was lots of hanks, and the weird hard, hanks are hard to find up here um, because we've only got two big box stores. One is Spotlight, one is Lincraft, um, and there I have a local um, fabric haberdashery store here in Melanda. If you're ever this way, go in there. The store is amazing. Uh, it's called Cross Stitch Corner, um, and check her out on Facebook. <laughs> um, and so. I was I was gobsmacked. It was truly amazing the stuff that was in her store. Um, I only left with one hank of yarn. I think because I was so overwhelmed at how much was in there that I was a little afraid that I'd overspend and I still had the other place to look at first. And uh, you know, uh, so. But I'm very very happy with what I did buy. So the yarn I bought was Patterns, um, and it's Patten Isle Artistry. It's a four ply four ply which is a little interesting because on my go-to chart of the different size, sizes of um, weights of yarn across the world, um, I don't have anything that's four ply in Australia. Um, and so um, pattern, this particular, this pattern is the Australian Yarn Company in Bendigo um, in Victoria, in Australia. And um, so it's an Australian company, so my Australian sizes doesn't match. It says either it's a three ply, which is a size one weight yarn, or a five ply, which is a number two weight yarn. There's no four ply. And this is kind of thin, and I would say it is probably more of a two than a, a one. Um, oops, sorry, a five ply, which is a um, sock weight in America. A size two than a size one lace weight in America which is a size uh, three ply here it's all confusing can we just pick one and stick to it <laughs> that'd be great um, so this is the yarn that I bought oh my gosh it's my colors it's beautiful so um, it is let me have a look at the specs here it's called purple mix 
um, and it is from, like I said, um, Patterns, which is the Australian yarn company. Uh, PatternsYarns.com.au if you want to have a look at them online. They're also on Facebook and Instagram too, I believe. Um, so um, it is, let me have a look. Hand wash in wool detergent, do not rub, cold gentle machine wash in wool, don't bleach, don't wring, don't tumble dry, dry flat in the shade, um, and it is dry cleanable. And that is because it's 80% merino wool and 20% nylon. Um, as I said in the last um, yarn haul video, sorry, it, it's actually breezy out here now and I've got things blowing away. Um, I don't particularly like a lot of wool products because they're itchy and scratchy. And if I had just seen this online, I wouldn't have bought it because it said wool, but because I could feel it, it's actually quite wearable. And I think that's because it's the nylon that's in there that's making it soft. Um, so it's, yeah, it's patterns, Pat Nile Artistry, four ply, 80% merino wool, 20% nylon. There's 100 grams in here, which is 375 meters. I'm not sure what I'll make with this. Now, the funny thing is that as soon as I walked in the door, the first thing I saw on the counter was um, some scarf pins and rings and um, pretty things that um, are made by an Australian company. Just a local little local family. Sorry, my, I'm gurgling, I'm drinking Coke. That's, it's so hot, I don't drink, usually drink soft drink, but I'm gurgling and so now, yep. So if I, you can hear weird noises, it's my tummy. So I picked this out, I'm not gonna show you just yet. I picked this out and put it on the counter and I said to the girl, oh my gosh, I've, I've gotta have one of these, this one's amazing, this one's my favorite. And so we went around and we uh, we looked and we shopped and we touched and we squeezed and you know squished all the, all the yarn um, and got back to the counter with my hank of purple mix, isn't it beautiful? And then lo and behold, the scarf pin that I, that uh, the scarf ring that I chose matches my yarn. <laughs> They're the same color. That is so my go-to colors, seriously. So um, whatever I make, I'll have something to go with it. Although I think probably something uh, opposing in color would make that stand out. So I also got this and it came with, so it's a little scarf ring. So that's the little Lamy there. And I love that they attach it to a piece of um, knitted um, yarn here and so to show you how to use it. So that's what you do when you keep your shawls on. Um, it also came with this little pin as well, um, like a hat pin. And this is by a company called scarfpinsandrings.com. It is an Australian company and it's actually an Australian family that is um, that creates these. So uh, if you ever see these, have a look um, and um, really give them a go because they're really well made and that, that on top is just beautiful. Um, the other thing that I bought in there as well was a little badge. So I have a denim jacket and I have lots of different badges on there and so I have a new one. It's official, I am now a yarn squisher. <laughs> so um, I have this, I've had it on my, my denim jacket, I love it. So those are the three things that I purchased from Mean Mother's Creations. Um, they are on Facebook, they're on Instagram, um, so please look them up. They also have a website. I'll put all of that in the business card just like I did for the other yarn store up in this video. Um, there's a couple of things about this store that really got me. It's in a, a really out of the way place. Kind of doesn't look much from the outside, but the second you go through the door, you're in amazement. The young girl that was behind the counter, and I didn't catch her name, she was so friendly and helpful. Um, they have, they do uh, workshops, they promote other um, activities and events for the community as well. They offer senior discounts, they give you, uh, they've got like a loyalty card on the back of their business card, so if you buy a certain amount, um, you get a, you know, they punch the card and at a certain number you get a percentage off or whatever um, so they're really looking after their customers looking after their community and I highly recommend that you go and have a look um, that's about it from me today like I said really short and sweet this is um, a lot again a local it's Brisbane it's not, not local to me um, they're in Beanley and you really should check them out they, they were truly truly amazing um, so thank you very much for 
checking in with me today and um, I will catch up with you later. I have a little video coming out on, so I've done a little ghost, I've also got a little pumpkin tutorial coming out probably tomorrow if I can get it finished this afternoon <laughs> and um, which I'll, I'll post and then thank you very much too for uh, my subscribers and the couple of newbies that I have as well thank you and welcome um, if you want to know anything if you'd like to see anything if you've got a, some stitches or something that you've seen made and you're not sure leave a comment below um, you can always contact me on Facebook or Instagram as well ask a question and I'll see if I can find the answer or a tutorial on how to do a particular project um, but again that's it for me today thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time bye